For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you use NeoPixels inside of the Circuit Playground library. So the Circuit Playground library is a high-level library that gives you access to pretty much all of the sensors and outputs and inputs and things that are on the Circuit Playground Bluefruit and the Circuit Playground Express boards in CircuitPython, but with a very easy-to-use library. So this one I have set up to light up NeoPixels in a couple of different ways. And the way it's done here, you can see in my code is I'm importing from Adafruit Circuit Playground CP, that's the Circuit Playground library, and then I don't have any setup necessary. Normally, you'll have to do some setup on some NeoPixels if you're using straight up Circuit Python. In this case, it knows what board we're using. So all I have to do to call the NeoPixels is if I want to light them all up, I use this cp.pixels.fill, followed by an RGB color uh, value here. So in this case, 20, 0, and 5, red, green, blue. And that gives me this sort of uh, pinkish fill color that you see at first when they all light up. Then since I've imported time, I can sleep for a couple seconds, turn them all black, sleep for another couple seconds. And then this is the other way that we can light them up inside of Circuit Playground Library. I'm saying cp.pixels, and then in brackets, I can pick any number 0 through 9 of those 10 NeoPixels and give that one a specific color. And that's why we can see a little cyan one and then a yellow and a pink one lighting up at the same time there. And that's because I'm saying, okay, for the pixel 3, that's the fourth one down here, We'll light that up with 0, 25. Then I light up pixels 7 and 9 with their own colors, turn them off, and then loop that process. And so that is how you can use the Circuit Playground library in CircuitPython to very easily control NeoPixels. That is your Circuit Python Parsec.